Hey there everyone, welcome back to a brand new episode of Let's Chill No Man's Sky. So let's go ahead and recruit our farmer here. Friend, you have work for me, yes? I have served in the finest kitchens and gardens across 12 systems, in each one producing prize-winning cuisine. I grow all of my ingredients. Hire me, yes? The Gek chirps happily at the sight of me. They promise to help me grow all kinds of crops on my world. They require the paperwork. The required paperwork has already been signed, apparently. The farmer offers to join my world and make use of the agricultural terminal. Let's go. Thank you, friend. Neither you nor your stomach shall regret it. And there we go. Now, we have a whole farmer. Do I have a teleporter in my house? Base? I don't think so. I don't remember building one. I thought I had to build one to use it. It just teleported me, dropped me out right outside of my base. I mean, that's useful, but. I distinctly remember having to have a, th a thing for that. Alright, my boy's here. This is a home of glass and metal, Traveler. It is in dire need of my touch. But do not fear. Oh wow, I, I completely made up a sentence there. For I will <laughs> for I come equipped for war such a work. Holy jeez, I can't read today. Ooh, copyright flower. Ew. Gross. Your first lesson will be to embrace the dirt, friend. The earth provides life and death after all. Take this hydroponics tray and these corporate flower seeds. Grow the flower and see how fine it is to produce life. Herling Utagal is already bedding in nicely. They have already given me the means to beautify my home. If I provide myself with a worthy farmer with this copyright, if I prove myself a worthy farmer with this copyright flower, perhaps they will share more of their agricultural secrets. Wonderful, my friend. Soon our home will be filled with a delicate perfume of copyright. Mm, I'd rather not, actually. So, first thing we're going to do. Hmm, we've got a few things we could do. Let's do the strangest coordinates. I'll do all this stuff later. But yeah, I think I'll keep today's episode a little bit shorter than normal. Maybe only 30 minutes or 25. I don't know. But uh, yeah. By the time you- oh, no fuel in the launch thruster. That kind of bites. So what's that? But yeah, I'll keep the episode a little bit shorter today. Incoming transmission. Source unknown. You are not alone. Please identify yourself. I'm. Let's do that. You left me. Why did you? I don't understand a word you're saying, dude. Of course you'd say that. Of course you'd. Just like the others. Who are the others? There's no reply. The communicator falls silent, though the channel remains open. Coordinates received. Where? Where? Ware. Aha! Stranger's coordinates? Let's go. No, no, no. We gotta go up, see Daisy. Out into space. But yeah. Hey, here we go. It's, oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez, chill, 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 chill. I'm a little too ham there. But yeah, so hopefully everyone's weekend has been well. You know, for me it's actually been pretty decent. You know, I got a new job, well potentially a new job. I'm not 100% positive on that one yet. But uh, you know, they, they've got me in for training. And yeah, I know most people think, oh, you know, you're training, you know, that means you got the job. If I don't pass all the courses 
at the end of the training, then, you know, I don't get to keep the job. This is basically like a trial run. So I got a whole month to prove myself. So that's what I plan on be doing for the next month. I'm going to be working really hard, you know. I'll still be doing my Let's Plays, you know. Still uploading a day every day. Or a video every day. However, what will probably end up being happening sooner. Or, you know, soon-ish. Is once I'm done with Undertale. And let me see, because it's going to be... Oh, let me, let me do this now. By the time I'm done with the, my current Let's Plays, all seven of them. Well, six out of the seven, because technically No Man's Sky has, you know, no ending. It's just my chill game. This is the way I relax at the end of the week, and I love it, but that's not going anywhere. However, you know, my other six games that I'm playing right now, well, five, wow, jeez, I am, I am drunk right now, Jesus. Um, you know, I'm playing things like the Let's Retros with, um, there we go, with, uh, Shining Force and Monster Hunter, or Monster Hunter, Monster Rancher. What I'm probably going to do is once I'm done with uh, Shining Force, because I'll probably be done with that one before I'm done with Monster Rancher. Uh, pure ferrite. I'll probably make it so that, that way it's, uh, I really only have two and a half Let's Plays going on at the same time. So I'll have, uh, grab these. The way it's going to end up working is I'll do two Let's Plays for, you know, like average size ones, not anything ridiculously long or ridiculously slow paced. Or if I do slower paced games, it'll be like one shot episodes. So I'll get those done, but I'll also be doing just the two and then one Let's Retro series. So once Shining Force is done, it's going to be 100% less retro for Tuesday, Thursdays only. And then the other four days of the week would be, you know, what the? The other four days of the week would be, uh, the other, um, the other Let's Plays. Let's see what's in here. There are no signs of life. There's only the static of a broken communicator. Let's take these records. Whatever message was once here has been scrambled beyond recovery. All I extract is the pilot's name, Artemis. Whoever they were, they are long gone. The only other uncorrupted data is a set of plans, an upgrade for my mining beam. Ooh, a geology cannon. Grenades. Okay, search for clues on Artemis, about Artemis on this and other worlds. Hmm. Well, let's head out to space. Alright. Incoming message. Known contact. Where is there anyone out there? It's outside. It's something's wrong with. I asked the stranger what is wrong. There's a moment's pause. The only sound I hear in the background is the hiss of cosmic radiation. You, you found me. There is so little light. I thought I'd never hear another soul again. I really did. How did you find my voice? I tell the stranger about the abandoned starship wreck and how I found their communicator ID inside the stress beacon. It's outside, but I think I'm safe. There are 16 of them. They look just like fear and confusion dance within the eyes of a stranger. After a few moments of silence, they turn to me imploring. You do not know who you are, do you? You... It lied to me. It lied to all of... The sound cuts out, but their face lingers on. Silent. Before it too fades into nothingness. Artemis needs my help. I need to find the way to boost the signal. Alright. 
I need to find a long distance transmitter. Hmm. Oh, hollow terminus detected. Convenient. That's what I needed. Hmm. Where is the hollow terminus? Let's go here real quick. But yeah, like I was saying about the Let's Plays, what I'm going to end up doing is picking two shorter-ish games, and I'll be doing, you know, two episodes of that a week, plus two episodes of the second Let's Play, and then two episodes of Let's Retro. And I might not even always have a Let's Retro going on at the same time. I might just have, you know, a regular three and three episodes of let's plays and then just whatever automated archive recovery in progress data recovered six percent new data available entry 4925x follows found additional blueprint or found additional buried technology modules construction proceeding smoothly recently expedition recent expedition yielded <laughs> copying data to <laughs> Additional data available. Construction logs recovered. Blueprints reassembled and prepared for download. Let's search the database. Base technology extracted. Downloading plans. Storage container plans restored. Ah. So I learned how to make things I already had. Readable archive retrieval complete. Beginning defragmentation of next segment. Okay. Thanks, base computer. That's what I need to do. Alright, so now I got that out of the way. What I was going to say about uh, the whole Let's Plays, I might not always have a Let's Retro going on. Honestly, after uh, Monster Ranch Advance 2, the only other game I can think of like right off the top of my head that I really want to do for a Let's Retro is Shadow the Hedgehog. But for that, I need to wait for my computer to be finally built. So I think I might bench the Let's Retros for now. You know, I might come back to that in maybe a month or two when I decide what are the games I might try to play. But that's its own thing. When that happens again is when it happens again. So I'll probably only end up with, you know, let's say just two episodes for my Let's Plays going on. Or two series going on at the same time. So three episodes apiece a week. And then a Let's Chill. So I think that would be a pretty good thing. You know, I get a lot of, a lot of uh, content out at once. Uh, environment warning. Planet parched. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, oh, I need power condensers. Uh, is that enough? Ah, I need a fully recharge. Okay, so I need more of either sodium or sodium nitrate. Hmm. Magnetized ferrite. There's a sodium rich plant. There we go. Nice landing. Alright, but yeah, so I will probably be doing some shorter episodes and, you know, even maybe even just less Let's Plays at the same time. But not so much as because I don't want to keep doing it, but more so because I think it'd be easier for me to just record one or two episodes in one big sitting, especially when I'm going to be working now. It, I think it would just be easier for me because then I could do like three episodes in one sitting without having to switch off the game too many times. Like right now I have to do five separate switches just to record, you know, five days. And it, it, it can get pretty daunting sometimes. Like to record seven days worth of footage, is, of footage I have six games to play. So rather than do that, I could just... You know, condense it and make it so that, that way I'm actually just playing two or three games and that's it. And one of those games I'm only playing one day a week. The rest I'm playing like three days at a time. So I could easily do like three days back to back to back of one 
let's play and then three days of the other and then the let's chill or I'll alternate back and forth however it works but point is I'll be able to focus a lot and get more story done at the same time and I think that would be a good idea is it's not repaired yet hollow terminus activated multiple signal sources of it the tower hosts a powerful transmitter designed to facilitate holographic communication across long distances the extra power should allow me to re-establish the connection with Artemis. Let's tune into Artemis' frequency. I try to locate Artemis' frequency, uploading the data from our previous communication. Aha! Whee! Is this a safe space? Can I not burn in here? No. Who's... Who's there? You. It's you again, isn't it? You're really real, aren't you? You aren't a dream? Yeah, I'm real. I'm sorry. It's hard to think here. Something's wrong with the... It's easy to fabricate a better reality when you have to. I thought you might be a dream. I'm sorry. I haven't heard another voice in so long. Not since I cut the speaker from my exosuit. It said such terrible things. The stranger smiles through the static. I'm just like you. You are a traveler of worlds, aren't you? What do you mean? They do not respond with speech. They transmit a vision. A red star in a fragile world. I do not understand what the shapes within, the whispers. I see life forms scattered to the far reaches of the galaxies. I see this stranger's first breath yearning for the stars. I see myself slumbering in the crimson void, awaiting for a dream of worlds. And through the darkness, I hear it said. Anomaly detected. Designation, Traveler. What I just showed you now, it was already inside of you. We were all born with this memory, even if we don't know how we lost it. We are the Travelers. We are the fourth race. Discoverers of worlds. How long did it take you to realize that you were different? From the moment you woke, you must have sensed something. So did I. Before I became stranded here, I was on a journey to find others of our kind. To finally meet. It cannot be a coincidence that you found the signal. Tell me, do you still have the data log from that crashed ship? Let's give it to me. I upload my exosuit's records, including the strange transmission I received and the data I found at the crashed vessel. Much of my equipment is damaged. I am alone, on foot, stranded on a sunless world. I do not even know how your signal is reaching me. But the ship you found, it belonged to me once. Perhaps there is hope after all. We need to work out where we both are. If you build signal boosters across the system, we should be able to triangulate your position. I'll finally get out of this hellhole and you'll be able to seek all the answers you seek. Sound like a deal? Thank you, Traveler. You are going to save my life. You're going to find me. Alright, so let's go ahead and build a signal blaster. But for that, I need some carbon nanotubes and I need metal plates. And don't break my legs, thank you. Alright, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, thank you. Give me some more ferrite dust. Thank you. Hmm. I just realized I have a quad servo. What is this? Highly sprung motor arm salvaged from the inside of a sentinel patrol unit. It occasionally twitches as experience in the echo of combat. Wow, that is worth a lot of units. Note to self. Sell that off. Alright, so. Build a signal booster. Alright, and now we are triangulating this position. Position logged. Ready for next position. Alright, so we're gonna just snatch. Thank you. Alley you. Oh, yeah, no, 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 no. Can't do that. 
I do not have enough vertical hops for that yet. And we're up the ladder. Why did I do triangulation on this planet? Oh, sweet Jesus. Nope, I'm about to die. Oh, I'm about to kill myself. Oh, my lord. Alright, so I'm gonna, you know, fast forward through the triangulation process. Because I got a feeling it's just gonna be lots of back and forth flying. But, uh, actually, you know what? No. I can talk a little more. Why not? Gives me something to do, you know. Be with my friends. Let's do this. Whoa, 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 whoa. What was that? Interesting. But yeah, like I was going to say, um, hopefully, it, or like I already mentioned, you know, the whole job situation. It's honestly a blessing for me. I really do need that. Because it's been rough, and it's going to keep being rough, but at least now it'll be manageable. So, you know... I, I haven't given up hope, you know. I can actually get things done the way I need to now. Where are you telling me to triangulate at? Are you seriously telling me to triangulate way over here on a whole nother planet? Okay, that's dumb. Whatever. Oof. Here we go. But yeah, so... I certainly intend to work hard, you know, I'll be able to get everything I need. And then come November, obviously, I'm going to be building my new computer, which will be the funnest thing ever. I will be recording that and uploading that as a video in and of itself. Like just me building the new computer. Why can't I move? What? Uh, game? game I literally could not move strange did I get like stuck under the earth somehow can I move now no I'm still stuck I'm actually stuck okay this is odd okay I'll just have to make this work somehow Mm hmm. I'm gonna land right here. See if it drops me off inside the building. No! Land. Oh. does not count all right let's this is strange I don't know what's going on why it's not letting me walk or anything but I'm gonna do is one of these and land no don't land me there uh, this game's gonna make me kill something I'm not gonna reload this game I really don't want to like I really don't want to at all there's a longer for okay you know what you know what that right there is warranting a restart hold on all right you know what? i think i could just build a save point right no need two metal platings and a hydrogen jelly Okay, I'm gonna just do this. Uh, reload the autosave. I'm just gonna do that. That's what we're gonna do. Now, can I move? Yes. Yes, I can. That was very strange. I don't know what that glitch was, but we're gonna not talk about that again. So we got two more signals to triangulate. <clears throat> there we go. And one more. 
Take that gizmo. And... Let's see. Where are we going? Triangulate position. Ah! All the way back up on another planet. Yet again. Alright. So, this will be the last one, and I think I'll cut the episode off for here. Uh, I can't believe I kept getting interrupted, man. I was trying to say that I want to just do shorter Let's Plays, you know. I'll probably only do three at a time. At most. And then, like, one of them's going to be the Let's Retros, and those are going to be shorter anyway. And then, you know, the two regular sized Let's Plays. So, expect that change to be coming up soon, guys. But yeah, episodes will still be going up on our daily. So. Well, if all goes well, though, I might even have my computer before November, which would be even cooler. But, uh... I'm not going to fuss if I get it in November either. Because I get to save money that way. Where in the... Okay. Go forward, not backwards. Alright, it'll be right in 14. Alright, that is fine. But yeah, guys, so hopefully everything goes well. I'm still deciding what theme I actually want to do for my computer. So I, there, there are three options that I've come up with so far. An outer space theme, which would be pretty cool, especially because I love No Man's Sky and stuff like that. So I could do something like No Man's Sky themed where it has like all the, the stars and space and all that awesome stuff in the background of the actual case. I'm going to do some possible paint mods to it, like spray painting. But that'll be with acrylic. I won't actually do that straight onto the case. Like, I'll just replace what's already inside there. And I'll just do it that way. So I'm not actually, you know, if I screw up the paint job, then I'm stuck with a messed up paint job on purpose. I just do it with the acrylic, and then that's fine. Let's just get rid of that. Is that it? Return to space and contact Artemis. Yeah, I guess we could do that real quick. But yeah, so, you know, I got that theme in my head. But the other two are actually Green Hill Zone. So it'll be, it's still a black case with the brushed aluminum finish. But on the inside, I could paint the, the actual shroud and all that stuff to be brown and green. And then have um, blues accenting the actual cases if it's Sonic running throughout the inside of the case. Let's go ahead and answer this. When I first, wait. When I first reached out to the heavens, I had no idea what to expect. The beauty, the mystery, the adventure, and the danger. And here we are, aren't we? Go to the Hollow Terminus. Upload your data. Let's find each other. If you're as close as I think you are, we're about to make history. Alright, end communication. Thanks, Artemis. Where's that Hollow Terminus at? Uh... Hollow Terminus detected. What was it? It's all the way over there. Ah, whatever. We could do it real quick. Alright, so it's all the way down here. There we go. But yeah, so... That is one theme, you know, based it after my boy Sonic. But, I already mentioned my favorite Sonic game, which isn't even about Sonic himself. Shadow the Hedgehog. But, you know, he's my favorite character. He's not my favorite game, but, well, it is one of my favorite games. I can't even lie. I, I love that game to death. Even as, even though people are like, oh, it's so repetitive and so boring. I don't care. I love the game. The game is a blast. But one thing that I think is probably my favorite out of all Sonic games is the level Radical Highway. That game, I don't, that level in Adventure Battle 2 was like the the pinnacle for me of like shadow game like shadow gameplay even though Shadow the Hedgehog made it even more fun for me it wasn't the pinnacle in terms of like gameplay it was the pinnacle in terms of aesthetics and how I felt playing through it like that was like okay you know you're you're the mysterious black hedgehog and you know you're running through all this stuff and Nobody knows who you are, but you gotta fight off your way through it and all. I'm like, that was cool. 
Hollow Terminus activated. Multiple signal sources available. Tower host profit communicated. Blah, 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 blah. Activated. Let me in. I'll speak to Artemis real quick and then be done with this. Have you triangulated your position? Let me know when you're ready to receive some data. Artemis transmits a packet of data, a star chart showing the skies around their location. I only have the equipment I came in here with, and it's done me no good so far. I don't know where I am. I don't even know how long I've been here. So we'll need to take the good old fashioned approach. We can use the sky to figure out where I am. If you visit a space station, you should find plenty of locals able to match our star patterns. I'll patch my translator through so you can understand what they're saying. Need to calibrate it first, but that should only take a few words. Good luck, or maybe see you soon. Awesome. All right, guys, but you know, a little bit of gushing left on my computer and then I'll be done with that for now. But I certainly intend to build a water-cooled build like I already mentioned earlier, and I want it to be interesting. So I figured one of those three would probably give me the best options. You know, the outer space one is gonna be very colorful, the shadow one is gonna match my room, and the green hill zone one is just, in general, gonna be really look, really nice looking. I don't think anyone's ever done a Sonic themed computer. But I digress guys, we're gonna leave this episode of Let's Chill No Man's Sky here. If you liked today's episode, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below for what you wanna name some of these planets, because I've still yet to name literally anything. But let me know what you want to name some of these planets or some of the animals that I find. Anything like that, you let me know. And uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well. Hit the notification bell. That way whenever I drop a brand new episode, you guys are already up to date. Let me know what you think of the new schedule that I'm going to be working on. You know, once I'm done with all these Let's Plays, it'll be dropping down to two main games, a Let's Retro, and then the Let's Show for Sundays. You guys let me know what you think of that schedule. Other than that, guys, I will catch you all here next time. I hope you all have a great and wonderful day.